Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explore the world of generative AI. And this is meant for everyone from IT pros, business people, all the way down to retirees. We're going to start you at zero and move up. And you might think, oh, I already know a lot about this. We'll show you a few things that are going to blow your mind. And that's not hyperbole. These are really cool features that you are almost certainly not using. Generative AI gets really confusing fast. You can see there's everything from, you know, Gemini, ChatGPT, Grok, Claude, Clink, Nano, Banana. They do all kinds of cool things. We are going to break these into four categories and go through them quickly, but using demonstrations to explain how to use this stuff. You will be amazed. The first is the chat that we talked about. Second leaks, we'll show you how to create graphics. Thirdly, we'll show you how to create music. And fourthly, we'll show you how to create videos, all completely for free. Now, that gets to a good point. None of this is sponsored. None of these companies have given us a dime. I just get asked about this stuff all the time. So I thought, let's just crank out a video and help a whole lot of people at the same time. Let's go over the big one, which is chat. The average person, if the numbers are any measure, think that ChatGPT is the best tool to provide generative text. And it is a wonderful tool. I use it a lot, love it. I also use Grok and Claude and so many others. However, the one I've settled on is Gemini. Gemini is Google's, and let me explain why Gemini is probably better than ChatGPT for most people in today's world. There are three big reasons, but the first is that in addition to having all of the history that ChatGPT has pulled in, Gemini also has its search information. So I can do things like, and by the way, you get into Gemini just by going to gemini.google.com and you don't even have to sign in. So any questions you ask can be completely anonymous. Okay, so let's give you a sample question to show you what I mean about why Google is better. What dealership in Calgary has a red Toyota 4Runner 2025 in stock? Now, if you ask the other guys what's going to happen, you know, Claude and Grok and ChatGPT, they're just going to give you a list of dealerships and say, well, they probably have it. Gemini ties in its search information, which means you can see Henninger has one Personic Red. The second big reason is one I already mentioned, which is it doesn't require you to sign in. And the third is, while I have no love for Google in particular, I really am leery of what ChatGPT is doing with our data and what they're going to do in the future. Google at least has guardrails on it. Google, Microsoft, Apple, maybe companies you do or don't like, but you know everything they do is being checked by everyone from government agencies to hackers. These guys can't get away with anything. Let's show you a few things with Gemini you probably didn't know you could do. If you install the Gemini app on your phone and sign in, you'll have all of your queries available on both your phone and your PC, or your Mac for that matter. So while I was watching a movie, I pulled out my phone, I took a picture of this bridge, and I used one word, geolocate. And it said, that is the Humber Bay Bridge in Toronto. Summarizing files, look at these. This is a 40 slide PowerPoint presentation I put together a while ago. And I can just drag this file into Gemini and I can say, summarize at a grade nine level and it will do what you expect. There's a lot of screenshots in this thing and it will convert those from pictures to text. So you can see here, this is something that has text on it, but it isn't text itself. Yes, Gemini will open this and read this. You probably already knew that, but take a look at this. Did you know you can create an audio overview? Oh my God, look at this. Now, because it has to convert this giant 45 slide presentation, it's going to take about two minutes to do. While this is grinding away, let's go over a couple of details that you really want to know. The first is with Gemini, you have a 100 meg limit. You can upload files that are 100 megabytes in size. That's pretty darn big. Now here's a Gemini chat that I created a few days ago that just goes on and on and on as I was digging into the early nuclear tests. Now here's something that you might not have noticed. You can click on this little share icon and it will create a link for me and it will send this chat to anyone for free that they can open without even being signed in. That's super helpful. 
I can also just dump it out to a doc if I want, which they can then convert to Word or whatever else. I can also go into here and say, summarize this entire conversation in 800 words, and it'll just dump it out. Okay, let's go back now to our audio overview and see if it's done. It is. Great. Listen to this. Welcome to the deep dive. You know, looking back at this cyber safety material from 2019, what really jumps out um, is how some of the biggest risks haven't gone away. Clearly, it saw that material makes city those emotional they found online social media, maybe company websites to pretend to be Holy someone you crap. know or someone who sounds how like they have authority. How useful is that? It turned a 45 slide presentation into a five minute audio file that you guessed it, I can just download or share with other people. Wow, that's cool. Now you might think, I don't have any PowerPoints. Where else could I use it? Well, let's go to a new chat. And I downloaded a copy of A Tale of Two Cities, which is 330 pages, by the way. And it's in a PDF form. Again, I could have it create an audio, but in this case, I don't want to. Create a two-page summary that a child in grade school could understand. I didn't even say, of the attached. And it's going to spit this out, and you think, I don't care about a tale of two cities. No, use it for legal documents. If you don't understand something, have it reword it for you at a level that you can understand. If you're doing something legal, by the way, like a, a contract, it's these are great tools to clarify the points, but you're still gonna to wanna to go back to your lawyer to get them to verify whatever it produces. Produce a legally binding contract to sell my Target Gemini fifth wheel RV in the state of New York. And it's going to say, well, you need to give me some information. So you can see I've just popped in some core information here. The seller is this John guy, the buyer is a Cindy person, price, vehicle information. And if you read through this, that's what it's saying. I haven't even bothered to format it properly. I've got a colon here. I don't have colons here. I mean, I've just done this roughly. And I haven't even told it I want to rewrite it. There it is. I can't produce a legally binding contract, blah, blah, blah. But you can see here, there it is, right? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now let's move on to images. But we'll do something a little with a little twist. We'll do an infographic. We'll create one. So create an infographic showing Elon Musk's corporate life history from 1990 to today. Boom, it just spit it out. And I can download that if I want. Now, any graphic from Gemini has a little AI icon at the bottom. Let's go through and make some changes to this. I want the background to be red. Boom, and I can download that. Now, if I don't like, I can just tell it that. Create the whole infographic from scratch using a different style. Now, normally I don't bother to write that out. I normally just say things like, try again. Bingo. Pretty cool, huh? So in case you're wondering, yes, that is created with Nano Banana, which is officially known as Gemini Flash Image. But you see, we didn't have to change anything. I did not have to go to Tools here and select Create Images. I can simply write out what I want and it will do it. Now before we leave Gemini behind and move on to music and videos, I'll show you two more things that you'll find useful in Gemini the first is, let's do something a little more difficult than just creating an infographic. Create a photorealistic image of a 35-year-old woman getting into the driver's seat of a red Dodge Viper. And what's useful here is, you'll see I'm still on this Elon Musk history thing. Yeah, you know, uh, I didn't actually have to. Okay, that's a pretty wild picture, but okay. So the next thing I want to show you is deep research or more advanced research. So you could go into here and select deep research. You could also go into reasoning, math, and code. And this uses what's called AI reasoning in which it breaks your question down into smaller parts, answers each part of it, puts it together, and then checks the whole thing for consistency. So I'll give it a relatively easy one. Give me a mathematical proof of Einstein's theory of relativity and explain how it relates to quantum physics. This is going to take a minute, we'll be back. Okay, I'm just going to say that this is correct because it's over my head, but you get the idea. <laughs> now, just before we leave the generative AI text world, I did want to show you something that's built into Microsoft Outlook for those of you who have it. If you go into Outlook, you'll see that there's a Copilot button now in the top right. You just have to pay for this. It's now included. So click on there, click chat, and you can have it write things for you 
or summarize things or whatever. You can see, do a brief outline of my vacate, blah, blah, blah. But look, I can actually have it do something I really don't want to. Write a friendly email firing John Simpson because his work has not been up to speed. He hasn't been using AI. His package is this much, blah, 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 blah. Now I could have done that through Gemini or through ChatGPT or Copilot, but it was just handy to do right in Outlook. It's a little thing, but I wanted to show it because it is valuable. Let's move on to music. There's a pile of services out there. It's two big ones, but the, the one I'm focused on is Suno. And there are three reasons for that. The first is it's super easy to use. Secondly, it doesn't really require much as way of, of authentication. And thirdly, it lets you create 10 songs per day, not per month, per day for free. All of the stuff I've shown you so far is free. Let's create our song lyrics using Gemini. So write lyrics for a song titled, just keep running about a dog that keeps chasing blue cars. But it's really a metaphor for a woman trying to get through the tech industry at 50 years old. I can't wait to see what this is. So I'll click create in Suno and I'll paste the lyrics in. And in the style box, I'll put progressive rock, ethereal and pop. And I'll also put a title in and then just click the create button. Let's go. amazing huh let's go through here and change this to something a little more likable i'll change it to swifties and pop so that's six songs i've burned for today but i can do with them again tomorrow and i've still got four left for today okay let's listen to this one man this is fast it's in my aging brain that sparked a life in sun and rain they see a dog a foolish game they never stop to ask oh. my name Sunrise paints the asphalt gray another day. Okay, so you get the idea. For free, this is pretty cool. Now, the other day when I was working with this, I was using their 4.5. It was free for a few days. And I can tell you 4.5, which will be free shortly, shortly being probably a few more months when they bring out version 5. 4.5 will be the free one. It was dramatically better than the version I'm using here. So this is just going to keep getting better and better and better. And something you should know, yes, you can just download these for free. Download, I want it as an MP3. And yes, you have full rights to this for yourself. If you're trying to sell it, you need to pay them for it. But if you're just wanting to listen to it, no problem, there it is, downloaded. Look, it even came up with an album cover. Amazing. Okay, let's move on to videos. So I've signed into Kling AI. Kling AI is one of several video tools, uh, but look, it's free. And the way they work it is you get about 160 credits per month. And a typical five second video will cost you about 20 credits. So you can build something amazing for free. And those credits get refilled every month. Let's go to video. We could just describe what we want, but this is one I created already, which is my girls hopping in this blue car, driving away. So let's create, you can just describe what you want, or you can just drag and drop a picture in. This is a buddy of mine with a cyber truck. And in the prompt section, which is where you're telling it what you want it to do, I'm going to say, have the owner of this cyber truck hop in it back out, but I want the cyber truck to be strobing different colors. So I'll set it to five seconds long and I'll click generate. Uh, right now, during the middle of the day, it's busy, so they want me to pay. I'll just wait a minute and do it again. Because we're using the free version, you can see that this is going to take three hours. Typically, I've seen at night, this takes about two minutes, maybe three minutes to get produced. So the delay here is not in producing the video. The delay is in the fact that we're not paying and people that are paying are being moved to the front of the queue. But let's show you some others in the interim. Let's look at this one. This is my sweetie. And I just uploaded this still picture of her. And I told it just to have her jump into the shallow creek. That's literally the words I put in. Have this woman jump into the shallow creek. Now you'll notice she has no hands and no feet. And the system has correctly given her hands and feet. It's also animated the water and added the sound. Which is perfect. It's absolutely astonishing how it's done this. Super cool. Now I could tell it what to say by doing lip sync, but you get the point that this is easy to use. Anybody can do it. 
And to be clear, no, you don't need to upload a picture to start. It's just an easy way to get going. You don't need particular skills. You just need to be able to explore a bit. You don't even need money. So there's an interesting phrase I've heard a few times in business and in education, which is, there are those in the world that understand and use AI and those who are left behind and unemployable. Doesn't make any difference whether you're a farmer, blogger, an IT pro, a retiree, a government employee, or a plumber carpenter. These tools are going to help you in your future. And if you don't understand them, your competition will. So just play with them a bit. And hopefully this video has helped advance your skill set so you understand how easy these things really can be. Hey, so if you found this video useful, big thumbs up would be super appreciated. Subscribe's also appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us directly at www.urtech, that's www.urtech.ca, or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.